<coughs> so good morning now everyone so uh, i've changed my zoom meeting because i have to renew it and i made a mistake now instead of renewing the, the old one i renewed, I renewed my traditional and anyway for the moment we'll be using this i think we'll if i can renew, renew this again this will be our our permanent and uh, zoom meeting room do i come cloud uh, loud and clear to you Yes, Am I clear? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, have you we, today we are going to solve the assignment, and then I'm going to show you another example you know, of an of a of a program in the analytical engine. It's an application called branching. You know? Okay. Uh, you're doing programming right now, diba? Into intro to programming somewhere. Yes, sir. So, uh, what what language are you using there? May I know? Dev C plus. Oh, Dev C plus. Okay, good. I say we will be using uh, C sharp later, no? So we will not have a hard time, no? Explaining. Ah, no, I'm not C sharp, but JavaScript. Okay, so we'll not have a hard time explaining the things. Now, all of you are using Dev C plus plus because my other class. They are CS students, no? They were using Python, but in terms of the assignment and increment statements, Python and C Sharp are very much the same, no? Okay. So, uh, if you log into our Daigler class, okay, there's a solution there. There are two worksheets which you can download, no? A great computation, you can download this. And then I have a new assignment for you, which I am going to explain shortly. You know? And uh, th these are the solution for the programming exercises for the analytical engine, okay? You can download this if you like. Let me just uh, remove my download sheet because I have previous downloads. Patong kasi ito, you know? So did you, did you have any difficulty with the program? It's just mostly copy and paste, no? But you have to configure the average properly, no? There's a certain tweak that you need to do. Otherwise, uh, you'll not be able to do it accurately. No? So this is the, have you, have you downloaded this? Can you see the worksheet clearly on your part? Yes. So this is the fourth factorial program, which we've done no, before. No, I don't have to explain this again, right? We have ingress, we have the variables four to at zero to two being used. No, okay. Zero zero is our next multiplier. Zero zero one is our standard decrement it doesn't change and 002 is where we place our answer no so from time to time 002 will get the partial product okay 4 12 24 24 no? the final pro fi final partial product is the the result okay so uh previously we have mentioned that computing the sum of the first n numbers for four numbers, it's very much the same, right? Who did this well, uh, correctly? Okay. Instead, that what's the main difference between uh, factorial and you know summation? Anyone? Factorial uses multiplication, while summation uses addition. Kasi ano ito? Ah, Labrador. Labrador, ah, Tony. No? Okay, be, be, uh, very good. No? However, you can just change all the multiplication to summation here, right? Because the first one is critical. The first one is set to, uh, is used to set the first uh, partial product. So you cannot do away with this. 
if you change this to plus, the, the first partial sum will be 5, which is wrong, right? Do you follow? So until when will you change? Until the succeeding multiplications, okay? Do you follow? X here now stands for multiplication. Do you follow? So madali, it's easy, no? Anyway, this is the, the answer I've given. And then let's trace this, no? Find out the difference, okay? So tatlo lang naman, no? Uh, there are only three variables being used. The next addend, the decrement, and the partial sum. The next addend is four. The decrement will always be one, and the partial sum initially is one. Okay. Any questions so far? This multiplication is set up. Is set up. Is used to set up the first value. No. In this case, the first partial sum. So times L002. What's L002 here? Anyone? One. One. L00? Four. four no? I hope it's clear. One times four? Four. And we sell it, set it at S002. is four. So th that's the first partial sum. Okay. What is the first minus? This used to compute the next addend. But the first addend is four. After four, we'll have three. And then after three, we'll have two. And finally, we'll have one, diba? So to, compute, to get three out of four, we have to subtract it by one, okay? L00 is four and L001 is one. Four minus one three. is three. So that's how we get three. And we store it to zero, zero, zero. So we now have the next addend as three. You follow? Yes. So what's the next thing to do? Compute the partial sum. Partial sum. We, all, we add the old sum. The old partial sum is 4. So we load it here. And, and the new addend, the new addend is 3. That's why we have it here. Okay. So very crude programming, right? We don't have a keyboard, we don't have a mouse, and we don't have a monitor. We have a printer, though, a punch card. And we store this to S002. So our, our uh, to S002. So 4 plus 3 is 7. Sorry, 7. Okay. And then we saw it to 002. Okay, follow. That's now our next partial sum. Our final for partial sum, remember, will be 10, uh, 10 by 11. That says 7 plus 2, 9. No? And then plus 1, it, it will be 10. Okay. The next step is compute the next addend again. How do we do that? We subtract one from three. So this, sorry, this is three because it's zero, zero. And this is one. Three minus two is one. I read three minus one is two. two. Sorry. Three minus one is two. And then we store it here because this is the place for the next addend. And then we repeat the process, compute the next partial sum. Zero, zero, two is seven. Plus zero, zero, which is now two. So this is nine. And we store it here as indicated by S002. You see, our final answer will be in S002. We compute again the next addend. Okay. We minus L002. One, two minus one is one. Okay. And we store it here. And then we compute the final sum, partial sum. L002 is nine. Let me just go this quickly now. And the next addend is now one, so this will be 10. And we'll store it here, okay? And we will have a PBH. What's a PBH? P means print, which means that the egress axis, its final value will be printed into the last punch card so that the answer will be there, okay? And then B will ring a bell and H will halt the machine, okay? Any questions? Sir, sa, uh, uh, the, the card before print, sir, by yung S002, necessary yeah. pa ba, sir, or hindi na? Kasi ang i-print lang, di ba, is the egress ah. axis. Oh. Pwede na wala ito, no? They follow. But the main reason why we're doing this 
is because when we convert this into an average with loop, kailangan ito. During the repetition. Tama. Do you follow? Kasi sa part na siya ng loop and it's included to be in the repetition. No? That's the only main reason. But if you didn't have this, it's all right. Okay. Any other questions? Kasi without loop naman eh. Now we'll go to the average of the first three numbers. Bakit three? Bakit hindi four? So that it will take us lesser time to trace. No? What's the difference between averaging and sum? Merong last operation, which is divide with the number of uh, values or the number of add-ins. So good. if we add three numbers, divide by three. Okay. Let's look at the sum here. Uh, yeah. Nandito yung number of add-ins initially, right? Diba, Tony? The number of add-ins is initially here. Can we use the final answer to divide, uh, use the, fi the final sum to, uh, to be divided by this? Yes. Zero, zero, zero. Kaya nga, itong form man, nandito siya, di ba? So, i-divide na lang natin yung sum. Pagdating dito sa dulo, i-divide natin oh, yung four. by four. Can we say divided by uh, whatever partial sum, L002 divided by L000 at the bottom? Pagyan natin dito. Okay, can we do this like that? Hmm? Kailangan siya ng additional. Divide. divide. Ano, ano yan? Divide. I sorry. Divide. Bakit ayaw mag-ano yung akong divide? Nagka-problema yung akong keyboard. Ayaw. Ayan. Diyan na lang. Lagyan natin ng divide. L002. And L00. I one ang L00, sir. Yeah, that's a whole problem. That's the same problem. Why? Because uh, that value changed. No, It was 4 originally, but it was destroyed along the process. Do you follow? Which means we cannot use this. Diba? Because it was corrupted during the process. No, So hindi na pwede. So we delete this first. And then what so what do we do? We copy this. Do we copy this to a different location, to a different variable, so that it remains untouched? For example, we can copy it here. Do you follow? So variable three, we copy it there later. Actually, you can also add another n 0 n zero zero three three. Okay. But since we already have the input, we can cut, transfer it there using the, the store variable command. Okay. Any questions? Let's do that, okay? N0003. So this will become 3. Sorry, 3. This, is, this will become 1. And this will become 1. And then we multiply to compute the first, you know what, first partial addend, partial sum. Okay. L002, which is 1. Times L00, which is 3. 3, this becomes 3. Okay. We store it to 002. So this becomes 3. Okay. At the same time, we will store it to S003 here. Why? So that uh, we will not lose this number. Because this number will be lost. The partial sum will also be lost. So this will be fixed here. Uh, you can do it anyway, no? Uh, someone emailed me regarding what if uh, the program that he will write will be different from my answer. It doesn't matter as long as it's correct, right? Because programs not, are not always the same. In fact, programming in a, is an art, okay? So it depends on the programmer's preference what is going to be done first. You follow? In this case, it doesn't matter if you use S003 before using S002. Right? Diba? Hindi naman mag-matter. It's still correct. 
but of course there are limitations like you cannot do the times before the before the s or the before the minus okay so anyway i'm going to check your uh, programs roughly and individually now so i'll get to change the check the logic okay so somebody is also doing python no? asila tony python yes bro. who's your teacher in python Sir Banawan. Okay. Sa ano, sa Dev C++ who's teaching there? May I know? Anyone? Anyway, no? Si Sir Paasa po. Ah, okay. Anyway, we'll try to relate to both Python and uh, C++ later. No? Because... Uh, sir, no yes. question ba? Uh, like, Diba, the, uh, the store, the ba, variable man. So, pwede man na siya, no? Like, for example, mag-solve mag ko and then I answer. And then mag-create na ako another variable for me. Ba, dito rin ako, i-store ka ng answer na ako. Yes. You so, can use any na. variable. Like here, instead of using three, you can use four. Oh, okay. Because... And last, sir, uh, sa L002, L000, kay... Pwede ko mag-add up another L so like tulo, si tulo na sila or like duha na sila taban. Why do you need to have that L? So oh. like for example, ano, uh, for kung mag-multiply kag tulo. Please indicate another multiply. Ah, so like another ano na pod. Another multiply na pod. So implementation allows that, no? Pero for me, it's confusing if you don't. Kasi di ba doon sa ano, sa loop, and dito sa ano, Wala itong mind, wala itong this, this. Uh, there's a part there that doesn't have a minus, which I have to enforce a minus because it's confusing. They follow because uh, uh, any, you know, any, any operation card will always take two arguments. Ah, so two lang taman. Oh, di ba? Two lang taman. Because mag-multiply ka dalawang numbers lang. If you are going to multiply it to another, you have to transfer it to another. Ano? So, nandito na si Al-Qaeda at saka si Gomez. No. Gomez and Al-Qaeda are finally here. So, i-shut down ko na yung ano, no? Yung kabilang room. Kasi it, it will run out of, ano? Al-Qaeda. Angelo Gomez. So I'll have to shut down the other room because it's uh, occupying space. And it's no. Okay. Okay. Wala nang tao dito. So, hindi na ito mapasukan, no? Because I'm going to close this. Okay. So, the other room is now closed. So, let's go back. Uh, kasi, uh, when you have an operation card and you want to start another operation, you have to indicate the operation card again, okay? Because there are only two parameters. In this case, this is not an operation card, right? Because... This is only a store. You follow? This is an operation card, so it has to be followed with two L's. Okay. Uh, uh, sir, so, yeah. sa, sa store, well, S002, S003. So, like, pwede po siya mahimog tulong or upat. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore for the store. Because the store does not load a parameter. Uh, okay. It only transfers. Pero pag load, usually, dalawa lang yan. There's only two of them. Do you follow? Because when you say times, what's multiplied are the two loads after the times. Okay? You do not follow a, a, an operation card with a store, right? AJ? Ah, uh, sir? Uh, pag operation card, hindi pwedeng sundan ng S. Oh, oh, so first two L are argument siya una. Oh, dalawa lang, dalawang L's. 
whether it's times, minus, plus, or divide. Okay? I hope everyone follows, no? Nandito na si al -Qaeda, no? I'm sorry, hindi na late ko na accept. Next time, I'm going to off the waiting room, no? I haven't set it off because I've said that it's the default value when you uh, change to a new subscription. Okay? Minus L00. This is used to compute the next addend. Right? No loop pa tayo, no? So 00 is 3. 001 is always 1. 3 minus 1. Bilisan lang natin ito, no? And the other one. Doon tayo sa average mag-discuss yun. Uh, nang mas, mas extensive. Okay? 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay? And then, we store it to S00. So this will be our next addend here. Okay? Any questions? And then we will compute the next partial sum. We are going to add this 2 with this 3. Okay? So we'll have add L002, which is 3. Do you follow? And 0, 0, which is 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. And we store, store it to the, to the partial sum, which is 5. Now, take note. The column for the average divisor is not harmed. Walang harm, no? It's not changed. So it is fixed at 3. I'm sorry. What na dito? How, how do I remove this? Whiteboard. Then I stop share ko muna, no? Share, share again. Ano wala? I made an error in, in using my mouse, no? So uh, this is this is always a 3 because there's no store involving variable 3. Walang S that will involve variable 3. <coughs> okay. Any questions? And then we compute the next partial addend, addend again. L00, this is a uh, 2. So L, this L00 will become a 1. L001 is still a 1. No, it doesn't change. Okay, 1 minus 1. No, mali, mali tayo, no? L00 is 2. Right? Yes, sir. Tama po. So uh, 2 minus 1 is 1. And we'll store it here so this becomes a 2. Okay. And then we do a plus to compute the partial sum. 0, 0, 2. One po. Yes, yung, yung the store po, sir. 1 po yung... I'm sorry. Sum two. Two. Once. Thank you, no? I'm lost. 1 dapat because it was previously 2. Thank you, no? Please interrupt me, no, if I make a mistake. Zero zero two. What's L zero zero two? This is five. Five. L zero zero is one. Five plus one is six. Six. And we store it to our partial sum here. If I zero zero two, this becomes six. Okay. So na ito na ngayon yung ano. We are going to divide six by three. So we load L zero zero two, which is six, and load L zero zero three, and it was not harmed. We know that it's still 3. We follow. It didn't change. So we have, sorry. We have 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay. And then we store it here just for, you no, know, storing it as a partial sum. Anyway, it's the average, no, also. And then we do a PBH. The S002 here is unnecessary because what's printed is the last egress axis. And we do a uh, a print, so each punch, and we do a bell and a hole. Okay. Any questions? No. So that's how it is programming as done by Countess Lovelace, no? Augusta Ada King. Meron siyang worksheet, but unfortunately, She's, her worksheet is so much mess. It's a mess, no? It's only I did, it's only uh, 
it's designed for mathematicians okay of that time no but should you have a better facility it could have been done this way okay uh, so anyway no average with loop so now we are going to use the same with loop version of the factorial program the following so the times here the minus and the times here is uh, is replaced with the plus the follow this is the same factorial program instead of computing the partial product we compute the partial time uh, sum every time the follow and then like the no loop version we will store the final divisor on a temporary variable which is not changed no they follow Let me raise this. Okay. Now we now have the run up lever because we are now going to make conditions. No, no? it's called a condition for continuation. Uh, in fact, no, in the in the uh, uh, in the an analytical engine, loop conditions are always loop conditions. Are our condition for continuation. Now in another computer in the IAS, we are in loop for continuation but only look for termination no that's why we will discuss also looping techniques which will be useful for you in your other programming languages okay so imagine this is like the factorial program with loop no? but there's a slight change because the plus the times here is now replaced by a plus okay Any questions? So it's the same. We store the next add in here, the decrement, the partial sum. Okay, we multiply to set up the first add in and the first sum. By the way, the first sum. N. This is wrong. No? I say we stored it to. We stored it to zero zero two. Okay. So the partial sum here is here. Three. Ito, no? Three. And we have an additional copy to the variable three. From the variable two, we had an additional copy. The egress axis is copied because this will be our final divisor. Remember, we cannot use the partial sum and the Next add in here because they are changed later. Okay. They will be changed and it will be it will be incorrect to do that. So we do a repetition of no? minus what is this? Sir is this here? Yes. Ton uh J Bon. So, well I run up labor, sir. No, I run up uh, we'll we'll do that. What's the run up labor here? Zero. Okay. Uh, in this case, it's not important because the run up lever is only important if we'll do a CF on CB. Uh, okay. Hello, don't let's have a meeting. In this case, we don't have a CF and the CB, so it's not important. Anyway, let's just indicate it, no? Sir, kibali, sir. Katong sa assignment, sir. Kung nabutangan ng run up lever ng way CB, mali ito, sir. It's not, it's not wrong, okay? It's all right. Uh, Sige, thank you, sir. Okay. In truth, meron naman talaga yan siya, di ba? In truth, any operation will set up the run-up lever. Di ba? It will always have a run-up lever, but, but sometimes we skip it to save time or space. Okay? Because all operations will set up the run-up lever. If the value of the run-up of the egress axis is zero or positive, it will reset. If the value is negative, it will set. Set being one, reset being zero. Okay. So we repeat the whole process. L00, zero zero, what's this? Three by one. Zero, zero, diba three? Oh, three, no? Three. Four. 
L0, 0, 1 is 1. That's always 1, okay? 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, so the run-up lever here is 0. We're just putting it there. Okay, and we are storing here the next add end, which is 2. Okay. So having, having computed the next add end, the next thing to do is compute the next partial sum. So L002, which is now 3, and 00, which is now 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. The run up level is 0. And we store this to two, that the next partial sum. Okay. So Al Qaeda and Dito Nana. Al Qaeda, are you there? Kindly chat. Bakit din siya maka chat? Yeah. Yeah. Here, here, no? So we compute the next partial, next add in. Oh no. We evaluate a condition to set up the condition for continuation. Okay. L001 is one. We subtract it with the L00, which is the current add in. Okay. One minus two. One minus two, negative one. Diba? So uh, this will be one. Any questions? One is no? Kasi negative yung egress axis. Now, that some of you may have CB12 here, no? Because that's what the documentation said. Kasi yung original documentation, walang there's no minus here. I've created a minus. Although if you have created a minus there, you should have changed this to CB12. But anyway, for the moment, moment, we will accept that as long as you know that we'll move back to the top of the loop. Okay, so where will we proceed? Forward or backward? Backward. Backward, kasi CB eh. CB means count backward. Otherwise, if it was a CF, what will we do? Forward. We will count forward. We'll have a different example no? later no? on CF. CB is used for looping. CF is used for branching and loop. If then else, did you discuss if then else already in your ano? Dev C++? If else then, if then else constructs? Wala pa ba? No? Sa Python, wala pa, no? Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll try to compare it with, with both uh, Python and C++, no? Okay. So we'll, we'll move backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 dapat, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay? So we will skip this divide. We we'll go to the top of the loop, which is the minus. Let's record the last values so that we will not have to you know, hindi na tayo, tayo mag-scroll ng malpataas. This is a 2. This is a 1. The last partial sum is a 5. And the, the last average divisor is uh, 3. Okay? Na record ko yan, so we don't have to scroll up. So far away na. So we repeat the same process, compute the next partial sum. Minus L00 is 2. 0, 0, 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, right? Do you follow? So the run-up lever is? Anyone? 0. 0. Good. And then we compute the next partial, you know? Partial sum. Let's go up, okay? L002 zero, zero, is? 2. L00. Zero, zero. No, L002 zero, zero, is? Five. Five. And L00 zero, 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 zero is two. two. 
Ito, di ba? Ay, yung kwan, sir. Yung sa L001 dito sa number 35, one yung value niya, sir. Hindi mo nalagay. Ito, ito? O, nang answer niya, sir, ka sa Igris AX. Ito? O, di ba mo? Dapat i-save siya. Sa ST001. Ito, sir. Ah, ito ang hindi ko nalagay. E, 000. Di ba? Oo, oh, sir. E, 000. Pero mali yung aking ano? Mali yung 39 mo, sir. Dapat 1 yan. 1 ito, okay. Tama, kasi mali yung ano. Dapat naka plus 3 na tayo, di ba? Ah, naka plus 2 na tayo, right? Yeah. Naka plus 2 na ba tayo? Sa plus 2. Oh, naka plus 2 na tayo dito. So, dapat plus 1 na ngayon. 5 plus 1 is 6. We'll sort it at which is. Thank you, no? So this will now become 6. You follow? Okay. 5 plus 1 is 6. The English success is 0. Uh, sorry. Okay. Are we correct now? So unstable yung aking ano na. It always happens, no? It becomes unstable. So anyway, if I if I uh, go offline, okay, what will you do? Can you chat me? Wala, no? Are you still there anyway? Yes, sir. Saan, saan kayo chat, sir? Dito lang. <laughs> Ang problema, paano ko ma-receive, no? Opo. Email mo na lang. Okay, I'll yeah. But anyway, I will know that I go offline because Zoom will tell me, no? That I'm offline, okay? And then I'll try to log in again. Okay. So my, minus now, what is this? We compute the we set up the condition for continuation. L001 is 1. L00 is what's the value of L00? 1. 1, one minus 1? One? Zero. 0. What's the run-up lever? 0. 1. 1, right? Kasi a 0. 0 na, sir. Kaya positive mind. Oh, tama, 0 na siya. Okay. I'm lost. Kasi kanina, negative 1, negative 1 siya dito. Ngayon, 0, zero na siya. So, when you do a CV, will, what we, where will we go? Will we go backwards or forward? Forward. Forward na tayo ngayon. Kasi, ano eh, CV eh. Di ba? So, since it's 0, we will not do with the CV. So, we'll do a divide. This will divide the final, ano? Sum, which is 0, 0, 2, it's now 6. Okay, so L0, 3, 0, 0, 3 remain 3. Diba? It was unharmed. And then this becomes 2, which is the result. And we store it to our here as 2. And then we do a PBH. Do you follow? So the result is 2. That's the average of the first three numbers. Okay. So uh, if you study the no, the factorial program, you should have no problem there. No? But programs are not always the same. Okay. Now uh, let's go to Python. No. So Python. Meron kasing if else statement. Ito na lang, no? Which will allow you to do branching. This is always important, no? In, Python, in any programming language. Okay? Sometimes, the sequence of your program may not be linear. Okay? It might jump from one place to another depending on the value of a condition. Like this, oh. This is in Python. If num equals 3, if num is greater than 0, the pr num print num is a positive number. Otherwise, uh, this is all this is always printed. No? Otherwise, it will not print it's a positive number. If num is greater than 0, num is a print num is a positive number. Uh, do we have a Python? Ano? How, do, how do you do Python programming? No? Python. Oh, mer meron dito, merong Python interpreter. 
Do you follow? No? Let's run this. No? Okay. Run. Oh, diba? How did you do your Python? Okay. Sorry. Ha? Meron Python dun sa sa ano? Sa online. Okay? You can run it there. Of course, you can do your Python by downloading Python, okay? And using, uh, uh, what do you do? This, uh, VS Code or brackets, no? okay? Now, let's, what does this mean? Certain parts of the program are executed given a condition. Let's do a C-sharp also, no? A C++. Online. Meron din ang C++. Oh, same, ano? Same site, no? C++, and let's download uh, C++ it. Okay, so if you need to write a program conditionally quickly, no? Do you follow? Okay, ito na lang. You don't need dev C++. You can use this. Okay. And then run. Ayan. Enter an integer. Two. You entered a positive number. Okay. Let's run this again. Enter an integer. Negative 100. Oh, so it did not say it prints a negative number. Do you follow? Okay. Any questions so far? So there's an if then else statement in any programming language. Okay? Any questions? Now, uh, how is it done in the analytical engine? Per uh, precisely there's a command called cf. Count forward, okay? I have an example here for grade computation. Anyway, uh before I go there, no. Your next assignment which, which will be on Monday, no. Is this you have a Fahrenheit to Celsius program, right? Yes, sir. Ah, you, you extend this to output one if the resulting temperature is equal or above 37.5. No? What is 37.5? It's uh, the, the fever limit. No, If people go 37.5 and above Celsius of temperature, no, you're considered having fever. Diba? Otherwise, you're just normal, okay? So what we are doing, going to do is to add, write a program that will ask a Fahrenheit and convert to Celsius and uh, determine whether it's feverish or not. Do you follow? Okay. So ide.gorm.io. Is that good? What that is that Python? For Python, sir. Maganda siya for collaboration. Ah, okay. It's like, ano? It's like GitHub. My Git, my Python din doon, di ba? Let's try this. Let's not spend so much time. Let's take a look. Okay. Kailangan mo pala ng account. Okay. So, that's our main issue here. Uh, we would like to demonstrate if the, the analytical engine can do an if-then-else like any programming language. No? Fortunately, remember, no, this is a very old computer, 1637. It already has the features most common to a modern programming language. Diba? So that means that uh, that shows the importance of the invention of Charles Babbage. Diba? Ibig sabihin na invento niya 1637 pa. No? He has already invented this. Okay. So to demonstrate, I have prepared a program called Grade Computation in the Analytical Engine. Can you open this? Okay. I'll just check the schedule. Baka magpas tayo. Ten fifty. 
Uh, mayroon pa tayong ano, 30 minutes, okay? Enough time to discuss this, okay? Let me close this first. This is not needed anymore. And then, yun na rin to kailangan. Downloads. Ito na. Uh, you know the grade computation formula, right? Everyone? Saan yung akin? Di ba kung nawawala? Open okay. If you take an exam, given a certain number of items, how do you compute your grade? There's, there's the formula there, no? Score over items times 100 minus base plus base. Quantity 100 minus base plus base. Score is what you get. I is the number of items given. What is a base? Base is the smallest grade possible. No? In our case, we are using 40 base. So therefore, the lowest grade, if you get a zero, your equivalent grade is a 40. Okay? In a zero base computation, no? the lowest grade is zero. So it's very difficult to pass if you have zero base computations. Now, for our, in our case, we are using 40 base. So this is a grade computation program that will compute the grade from the score and determine whether the grade, the resulting grade, is passing or not. Diba? Katulad sa ano, C sharp, if G is greater than or equal to 75, print F. You have, you have passed. Else, print F. You have failed. Diba? Ganon. Okay. Do you follow? How do we do that in the analytical engine? So basically, we're going to do the same thing. Start with using variables. Okay. So zero, zero, zero. Uh, let me remove the trace. By the way, it is said that the analytical engine can handle decimal numbers. No? Fixed point decimal numbers. Okay. So, pwede ito, 74.99. This is the highest failing grade. Kasi kung 75, medyo kung alanganin eh, no? Okay? So, we use variables. N000 is our base, which is 40 now. The score is in 001. No? Uh, dapat 60 ito. Okay. Be follow. Can you correct that? I'll correct that anyway now. And then uh, the number of items is here in variable two. Okay. We will store our final grade in variable three. Okay. And uh, one hundred is our is our constant, which we will use here now. So one hundred minus base. Because uh, although this will not change, no, but the items kasi will all, will, which will may change, di ba? May pwede 120, pwede 80, but this is fixed at 100. Do you follow? Okay. And then we will store variable 5 as passing. Passing means 1. Variable 6 means failing. Do you follow? This is a fail grade. This is a passing grade. And then the cutoff is in 008. I uh, will have to change this. Okay, do you follow? Any questions so far? Okay. So the first thing to do is we're, we're going to divide the score by the items. So L001, what is this? The score is 60. Divided by the number of items, which is 100. Divide this. 0.6, no? So, so the run-up lever, we can skip that for the moment. No? And we'll store that, the S032 here, no? 0.6. We follow. And then we will minus the base from 100. Okay, that's why we have L004. This 100, the base is... 40, 100 minus 40, this is 
60. We follow? 60 and we store this to S007. So this is now 60. That's a temporary variable. Okay? Okay, and now the 60 and the 6 we multiply because score over items times 100 minus base. Quantity 100 minus base. Okay, times L003. What's this? 0.6. And the 60. Okay. What's the result? 0 0.36. 0 0.36. Oh. 36 lang. It's not 0 0.36. Okay. And we, saw, we, we store it to 0 0.03, which is our parcel grain. We have 36. Okay. What will we do with 36? We add it to the base, okay? 0, 0 is our base, which is 40. And 0, 0, 3 now is 36. And we, we add 76. Do you follow? Malik pong column. Any questions? So the equivalent grade is 76. Is this passing or failing? Passing, sir. Passing. Passing. So the technique is, is usually during that time, I say limited in instruction set, is to assume that it's failing. And then if it's not below 75, then we correct the assumption from failing to passing. Do you follow? How do we do that? First, we assume it's failing. Time 006. Uh, 006 is a zero. And 0, 0, 005 is a 1, right? We multiply them, this becomes a 0, right? And we store it to S009. Dito. S009 is a 0. Do you follow? We assume it's a failing, but if, if the grade is, is, is above 75, we'll change it to passing. Okay? That's the technique there. We have no other way, kasi walang straight if then L statement. But we can already manipulate it. Using the minus and CF, no? Here's how it's done, no? The condition. And condition na ito is, if grade is greater than or equal to 75. Or rather, if grade is greater than 74.99. Do you follow? We do a minus. L008 is our cutoff of 74.99. You don't have to scroll, no? And our final grade is L003. Ito pala, dito, no? 76. 76. Okay. We minus. Okay. 74.99 minus 76. So this is 1. What's the run up lever here? 1. 1. So the next command is CF. Will we move forward or skip? We will move forward. Move forward, forward tayo, no? We'll move forward four times. Why? Because the run-up lever is set. So, saan siya pupunta dito sa four? No? L005, what is five? We are going to change it to, we are going to change it to passing. Do you follow? L005 is one, L005 is one. So one times one is one. And we store it to L009, which is our result. So now, we have corrected it from 0 to 1, I'm sorry. Why? 0 to 1, okay? So we assume it's failing. We are wrong. We have to change it to 1. That's the logic behind. Now remember, you know, if, if this were 76 is passing, right? If this were 73, what will happen? This is 1. This is a 0, right? Will we skip 4 times? No. We will just PBH, which means that we will just output a zero, which means it's really failing because it's below 74.99. Did you get my point? Everyone? So uh, what is CB used for? Evaluating conditions for continuation in loops. What is CF used for? Evaluating conditions during branching and branching, no? If then else. Kaya lang mahaba. It's a much longer version because you do have to do some tweaking like assuming a correct a wrong value and then correcting it later. 
but it, it follows the same logic. So, uh, the analytical engine can do all the looping and branching that a modern C++ C++ program can do. Do you follow? Or a modern Python can do. Any questions so far? So you have your assignment now? So it's like that. Do you understand your assignment now? Ito? Yes. Sir. Huh? It's just like great computation, but instead of passing or failing, we'll fail it. Kung may lagnat, wala. Do you follow? Same logic. Okay. This is due on Monday. Now, by the way, sometime no next week or the third week, depending on the no, schedule, no. I think I'm going to go on a medical leave, no. I'm being checked once a year, no, even twice a year, no, by my, you know, doctors. Okay, I will inform you, no. Uh, I've arranged with our chairman, and uh, he doesn't recommend having a, a substitute. What he recommends is for me to give you activities. Okay, I may try to give render one meeting in just one week, no. But you will not be left over, no. Anyway, if somebody will take over, I will inform you, no. So, any questions so far, everyone? So, I will introduce a new topic next meeting. Okay. So it, it's it's enough for now. Okay. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. Bye, sir. Thank Thanks. you, sir. I'll upload Thank the you, recording. Sir. Bye, Paul. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.